Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on uh, how to pause a game and draw a screen capture to the pause screen. Um, now I've seen I've seen some uh, pause pause screen methods done on YouTube and some tutorials. Uh, some of them are pretty complex where they're deactivating all of the instances and uh, it can get pretty complex. Uh, this is actually going to be uh, very simple. Um, we're going to be using a um, pause screen method where the room is persistent and you go to a new room and uh, the, room, the room is pretty much frozen and then you can re return back to your room. So uh, in theory this is pretty simple to do. You may already know how to do this. Uh, you may not. Uh, I'm going to show you how. But I'm also going to be going uh, adding a few other things in this like uh, we're going to draw a screen capture of the game to the background image of the room. Um, also, there are a few issues that come up since the room is marked as persistent. Um, restarting the level can be a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you how to get around that um, if you stay tuned to the end of end of the video. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to apologize uh, for not posting any content for a while. I've been pretty busy on the game that uh, you see here, uh, which is Daybringer, is um, the game I'm currently working on. So uh, a lot of this content that I am producing is coming from uh, that game, which uh, I'm really trying to push the limits of uh, Game Maker and, and really push it to see what it can do. So that's where this uh, Paul screen comes from. It comes from a necessity out of wanting to have this type of uh, Paul screen in our game while also having the rooms as uh, persistent. So before I blab on too much more, um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I already have a room set up uh, with my, um, I got a little fellow in here. So let me go ahead and play that. Um, and you can do this with an empty room, but I already have a room set up. Uh, and uh, you may notice this uh, from a, one of my previous tutorials uh, where I did the lightning bolt gun. If you want to see that, you can check it out at my channel. But uh, you don't need to have anything set up in your room. You just have a room. Um, and you want to make sure that that room is unchecked, has persistent unchecked. So I'm going to create a new room, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it uh, Paul's room. And uh, I'm going to set the width and the height. Here's going to be whatever you want. I'm setting mine to the viewport size. Um, excuse me, not the viewport size, but the um, the view size of uh, yeah the viewport size um, so that that's what that will be set to there I'm gonna come over here and create a new object I'm gonna call it obj control this is where I'm going to uh, in the step event put if bk uh, excuse me I'm just wrong if keyboard check Ord PK Escape Keyboard check Pressed v VK Escape I'm gonna do room Go to Room pause room And the global variable global um, room from equals room. I'm not sure if these will matter the order, but I'm gonna put that one after that just to be just to be safe. Alright. Um, the next thing we need to do is create an object, OBJ pause, and we're at an event. It's gonna be another step event. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing here. Um, and this is going to, let me put a comment, go to the pause screen. Return to game. So this is going to return to the game. So um, we're just going to take this out and put that here. Yep, that's it. Um, and I'm going to add a step event, I mean a draw event. Draw. 
Well, text. And I've got a font set up to Hopefully it's white. So I don't have to change it. Oh, I need to put my objects in the room. So you drop this control one in there. And I'll have to drop this one in there. Alright, so my screen is paused. So we return here, so I need to mark my room as persistent here. So I'm just going to do uh, room persistent equal true. So that should um, should work when we hit the pause. Pause. Here. Go back to the same spot. So we've uh, successfully created a pause screen where you go back and forth from the game. So. Um, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to draw the screen chat capture to the background. And uh, let me see. This is this is um, a lot easier, a lot simpler than you think it might be. So, um, so I'm going to uh, for this stuff, I'm going to create a glo another global variable. Global ret equal so um, this works only if you have not disabled your application service I know some people disable that for older devices uh, but uh, here um, we're going to use it um, I, I really don't think it's necessary to disable um, application application service from what I've seen it doesn't it doesn't provide that much of a um, performance boost and it, 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 I believe it has more uses to keep it uh, enabled so we're going to use the application surf surface application surface zero zero um, and then I'm going to use my uh, viewport size and you may have to play with this for yours but for mine, um, this is going to work for me. Put false, true, um, zero, zero. All right, so create our global variable. Um, and that should be it for that. I don't need any more of this here. Um, create that. And here in the pause event, we're actually going to change this to a uh, draw GUI, but it doesn't doesn't matter too much. All right, in our pause room, um, in the draw, we're going to do uh, draw draw sprite extension. Our global variable, put zero 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 um, one one for the size zero. And C white. I'm just doing uh, draw spray extension in case we need to change the size. So that does that. Now I'm going to add a cleanup event. If you're using Game Maker Studio 1.4, you can just use a destroy. But uh, um, basically, for those of you who don't know, cleanup event is runs anytime that the object is deleted. Um, so different than the destroy event say if you leave a if you leave a room um, then the destroy event may not run so but the cleanup event is always going to run so this is where um, you can use your cleanup event so um, we've cre created our sprite okay so basically what that code did let me explain it um, here is it creates a sprite and it stores it into the memory of um, it pretty much stores into your uh, hard drive. 
So it stores into like the game files, um, and then you can retrieve it anytime. If you turn the game off and turn it back on, it's still going to be there. Um, so that's so what we need to do here is we need to clean it up and we need to delete that spark sprite so so it doesn't get saved, it doesn't um, use up our resources. So we're just going to sprite delete, right, and that should work. And if you use this for any sprites, it's going to delete it from your project files too. I believe that's how it works. So you might want to, uh, and I have an error here. There's something wrong. All right, let me let me look at this again. Uh, ah, I think I'm missing a zero there. Sprite create from surface ID X Y zero zero with height and move back false smooth equals true X Y version there we go all right so just add that zero in there now not set before reading it bubble rat. Oh, my bad. I need. To <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Another error. Just add the global in front of those. Uh, that ret. All right. So now we've created a pause menu. That works. Let me see if I have my lighting engine here. I don't but there is one more thing we need to do okay this is uh, this is actually pretty important so um, we need to so there's a there'll be an issue if you use this uh, like this is very important if you use this method um, and um, actually I'll, I'll show you I'll show you right here um, I'm going to have to ch uh, change the clip some but uh, I'll show you what's gonna happen if you use this method without um, with a blended surface of some type, say you're add or subtracting um, additive or subtractive blending, um, you're going to get a really weird result. It's going to look like this. Um, so basically, right here, you need to, and this is kind of a, I uh, did some experimentation, I figured this out, uh, and I'm not sure how this works or how logic works. I just know, um, I just know that this works. Um, and if you see, find any more uh, cheats like this, uh, let me know. Um, so basically, what you need to do to prevent this kind of uh, blending from, from happening whenever you take a picture from the application services is you just need to uh, do GPU set blend mode false. And then set it back to true after you draw that sprite. Let me see how this, let me just make sure this looks uh, fine when I'm doing this. Yeah, so it works fine now. Um, pause, pause the game. There we go. Um, so yeah, make sure you're doing this. Uh, set it to false and then set it to true. For whatever reason, this seems to fix the the problems that come up whenever you are trying to capture a screen capture using the sprite from application service using while you're using um, blending. So um, very important to add that in there. So that does it. We've uh, you know paused our game. We've drawn the the, the screen capture to a background. Um, now one more thing that uh, we've set the ruins persistent while we're going into our pause screen but say you in your pause screen you want to restart the level from your pause screen or you want to go back into your main menu and then you restart the level you know the level if you haven't restarted your game your level is still going to be persistent so um, we need to find a way to restart the level um, basically from the pause screen um, so easiest way to do this is I'm going to create a new object and call it object restart and I'm going to go to the step I'm going to mark this one as persistent okay 
I'm going to go to the step event and I'm going to put um, if global room if excuse me if room equals global room from then we're going to we're going to set the room persistent to false we're going to restart the room and then we're going to instance destroy so I've seen a lot of a lot of issues people having with persistent rooms and trying to restart those rooms. Uh, this is the way you do it. You um, create an object, you put this in the step event, um, and then in your pause screen, if I board keyboard check pressed R then I'm going to do that I'm going to simply create that object and then I'm going to go back to the room I'm from so it's going to create the object that object is going to be persistent so it's going to persist into the previous room where we were in and it's going to check and see that it's the room that we're from and it's going to turn the persistent back to false it's going to restart the room and destroy that instance hopefully it does that it should do it so if I hit R restarts there we go perfect um, and basically that's it very simple to do um, very effective doesn't require all that deactivate and activating instances uh, and you can do it with uh, persistent rooms so there you go um, uh, enjoy if you if you like this video and you'd like to see more like this some you know neat tricks and simple tricks and, and stuff like this you know um, give me a, a like give me some comments um, you know show some way of showing your support for this channel and help it grow you know share the message um, let people let people know um, um, thank you for watching and have a good night